Wow, I definitely think that it was coming regardless, you know? Or that should be. It looks dope. Let's see, what are the changes? The Sevrog. I love how they have a Master Sevrog here. That's spicy. That left definitely makes you want to pick them. I'm digging it. It's like the standard skin, but with a couple of twists, a couple of changes, makes it a little bit more unique than the standard skin. <coughs> I really dig it. I like the face changes on all these characters, man. The fact that these characters, some of them still look the same. Some don't look like their original face. I'm A-OK -okay with that. Like, the new face on Colt. I dig it. I'm not mad at it. This is a dope Kalari skin. They definitely did this on purpose. The sword's going through the cape. But this is a dope skin. I dig that. And then, my boy. Alright, let's see the shot. Ton of money. Not gonna be able to keep it. Whatever. Bolt skin. Wow. Interesting. Okay, so here's the original Colt, right? The new modified to him last. I dig it. Look at the reflections. That's some shiny. It's like my boy came out of a hot rod shop. It's like, hey man, set set my arms up. Now before in Paragon, you only saw a few skins that had like the super shiny surface, uh super shiny paint. But I'm digging it. Oh, there's a purple, yeah. It looks fire. Oh, his cape's getting caught. That's funny. Okay, we shook it loose. We shook it loose. We're chilling. Let me see here. What's up, chat? What's up, Hideo? What's up, Doobie? I'm just uh looking at a few of the skins here before we go anywhere. I love this. They mix shadow ops with like a camo. So now it's like camo and shadow like that. That looks dope. I can't zoom in. It looks like it. Luxurious future. Okay. The gold vibe. I could definitely see this. I remember playing Army of Two. Some people were like, hey man, I just want that gold AK. I could see it. I could see it. I dig it. And then Robo DK, the robot drift king. Yo, he's got rollerblades? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's a sick ass skin. That that skin is dope as hell. All right, let's see real quick. So his Q throws a grenade designated designated location. And the grenade slows and deals damage to enemies upon exploding. OK, pretty standard Q for Twin Blast. He boosts mobility, ignites jet boosters that allow him to fly in any direction. He gains enhanced mobility and produces a grenade. Oh, so he has a dash, but when he dashes, he drops a grenade. Okay. Okay, I dig it. Interesting change. It may definitely makes his kit more grenade based. Um, R, his ultimate. Cole turns into, turns the Akul to somebody, somebody tell me how to pronounce that, please. Into a machine gun and begins shooting rapidly. Okay, so he's got the machine gun on. Uh, his left mouse button is just his basic attack. No mercy, right mouse button. Loses all compassion, quickly fires the Ackle three times. Oh, I think that's the name of his gun. With a chance of triggering a critical hit. Okay, so there's a crit chance attached to it. Interesting. I dig it, man. You have to buy him. Oh, you buy him, it resets. Yeah, there's a lot of skins. There's a lot of skins here. Let's, uh, I'm going to go down the heroes just for, um, just for YouTube's sake, right? Let's see here. We'll be a Colt. Let's just go back to Beatrice, Countess. Start with the skins. There's Dark Breath. I dig it. Blue Breath. Okay, basically the same thing. Interesting that it's 
they keep a little bit of the red on here, kind of tying it over. Whispering Breath. So all these skins are about breathing, apparently. I dig it. That's a dope, sexy, like, oranges, copper color. He's got going on. Dig it. And then Crimson Wound. Very, very nice. Can I just say, I thoroughly admire the fact that I'm not seeing any, like, 100% Paragon skins. I'm seeing, like, modified skins, which I'm very happy with that. So I see Q, Shadow Ripple, Beatrice teleports to the target and slows them down. You Shadow Ripple again with a set, within the set time to send her back to her original location. Okay, so Shadow Slip, Shadow Ripple, very similar. Blood Ripple sends a Vortex Blood Ripple into the battlefield and damages enemies. Sends a Vortex. I'm assuming that's like her sweep. R, uh, Beatrice Graves Blood, dealing massive damage to the target, stunning them temporarily. Her, her ult's pretty similar, okay. Left hearts, I mean left base, uh, left click is pretty basic. Her basic attack slashing the enemy. Right click is spin slash, absorbs some health each time she defeats a minion, monster, or other enemy. On activation, she spins rapidly, deals damage. So that's where her healing and damage, so that's pretty normal too. Oh. All right, let's go back. Aura, this would be Shinbi if I'm not mistaken. Mysterious Dream. Yo, that's a dope skin. She's got a flower tattoo on the back. That's dope. Long hair. I, is it wrong that I like this character model better than Shinbi? Is that just my taste, I guess, right? And they got Dazzling Dream. Oh, I don't have to buy them, okay. Dazzling Dream. I like the lime green off of this. Digging it. The red, okay, a little bit. Okay, a little bit simpler. Got ourselves like a little bit of gold with a little bit of red. I, I dig it. The Illusion Dancer. Look at that purple blade. Yo, get me in. Got blue and purple hair, blue diamond gem looking thing on the side, blue heart on her necklace. This has neon. Like, yo, that shit. Fire. And then Dark Spirit. Okay, I mean, I dig it. I dig it. Very theme based, right? With this. Y'all can't tell me. The, this is the best looking skin for her. Change my mind. So as far as her abilities, we have the Q summons a guardian spirit. Boris summons a well-trained guardian spirit that rushes towards the enemy to deal damage. When the skill lands, a fixed amount of mana is restored. And the skill cooldown is also reduced by a fixed amount. Even though multiple objects are hit, the effect is applied only once. Okay, so that would be the, her wolf that she summons. It's got like these little wolf things here or whatever. Guardian Dance Sorin summons the Guardian Spirits to surround her and damage enemies. Each time the Guardian Spirits damage enemies, her health will be restored by a certain amount. So she still has her heal. Her ultimate call the God summons a Guardian Spirit for each sec in his, in his charge. Oh, okay. 2022. Uh, which then attack the target. To summon the Guardian Spirit, you must hit all your skills to build up charges. Max is six charges. Okay, so this is typically her old ultimate. You build up the stacks on the wolves, and then you can cast the ultimate. You do a damage per stack. Cool. Left click, simple basic attack. She swings her sword. Right click, quickly moves forward while swinging a sword to damage enemies. Interesting. So she still has her dash, but now she does damage on that dash. Nice. Oh, wait. Gotta buy her real quick. All right. Next, we already did Colt. Now we're going to go to Cosmos, aka Gideon. Oh. I didn't expect this, but I'm digging the, uh, the murdered out glowing Gideon. The Truth Explorer. Nice. And we got the Passionate Explorer. Okay, like a teal green color. I dig it. Dude, I love when skins have that, that like a glowing factor. Check this out. Explorer of Transients. That shit looks fire. Is the cat? Oh, and this one. The calves glow also. Interesting. I like it. Hungry Pirate. Okay, so that's like the Undertow skin. 
I like some of the subtle changes that are there. For sure. There, yeah, they probably couldn't change much of the skin considering it was always skeleton, but it's super cool. It's super cool to see. It's, it's in like an adaptation of the skin, a variant of it, right? Then we got Explorer of Greed. Okay, like a, like a turquoise. It's very gold and white, very like... Okay, like a gold vibe too, I get it. Gives me Egyptian vibes, right? An Orbit of Chaos. <laughs> That's dope as fuck. Yo. Animated clock. This just gives me rain vibes for more combat. If y'all know what I'm talking about. I dig it. I, I, yeah, this. I like the originality of this. It's very like, look at his genie sort of shoes that he's got on. Pointy shoes and shit. Yeah, the this this character model skin is very very nice. Is that like, I almost feel like that snake skin right here, right? That snake skin, break my mind, change my mind. But yeah, that looks dope. Definitely buying that skin. Uh, yes, please. I mean, we have all the money in the world. This is a weekend event, right? They did it on purpose. Next, we go Cynthia. Okay. All right, so let's let's check out these skins. I want to check the skins first. Oh my god, I didn't go over Gideon's kit. Really? Hold on, real quick. So Gideon, Q, summons a meteor that drops from above, deals massive damage, so his Q's the same, basically. Uh, e opens subspace and teleports. Allies can also teleport, so his teleport's the same. R, gobble up, creates a giant black hole that enroaches on the space, sucking in all the enemies while in range to the center. So his ultimate's still the same. If I'm not mistaken, it does have a new animation. We'll check it out later, right? Um, then from there, his left click is just basic, a range basic attack. Right click throws a small black hole that distorts space, pulling the enemies to the center of the black hole. So he now has a displacement ability that does cause a little bit of damage based on what we see here. So you can actually pull people closer and then ult on top of them. It's spicy. I like it. Purchase Cosmo. Son, uh, are we going to Bearded's chat? Um, yeah, I might be over there in a bit. Sorry, I'm just I'm just doing this for the uh, for the YouTube first, just going through all the different things, and then I'll uh, I'll head over. So it starts with the skins. We got Phase. Okay, I dig it. It's like traditional Phase, but with with a slight little twist and variation of colors. A little bit of gold, a little bit of orange. Okay, I dig it. Blue setup. I feel like they all the other ones have cool names. I don't. I'm not 100 percent sure why this one's just called blue setup, but I dig it. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So that's got like this one has a cat. This one has like doves. It looks like. And we got pink hero cat. Okay, I dig it. Teddy bear fire. Okay, that's a dope skin. New generation. Oh, chroma skin like chameleon reflective. I dig it. Very ravey. I dig it. Okay. White bear. Cute. And then the pink punk. Oh, we saw this one. We saw this one on Twitter. This is fire. Ingenuity like skin design like this. Ingenuity like this. I really, really give him credit for. Little robot glowing aspects. You know, just certain hints here and there. Very cyberpunk vibe. The pink punk, aka. Very, very cool skin. Then we have the overview. Let's just purchase her while we're here. Then we have the overview. Now the overview, Q, flash burst. Cynthia emits a flash of light near herself and the enemy hero link through synchronizer. Dealing damage and blinding the enemy. Okay, so... Yeah, she just flashes and blinds, very similar. Light Flux launches a powerful ray of light in a straight line that deals continuous damage for a brief period. Enemies take numerous hits from this, become rooted. Okay, so there is no slow. It's just damage leading into a root. Got it. R, Supercharge. Cynthia explodes her superpowers around herself and the hero linked through Synchronizer. Dealing magical damage and knocking back all enemies. Oh, so magic damage and a knockback around you and the and the ally you're linked to. 
Okay, offensive ult. I dig it. Knockback could be useful. Uh, shooting energy, fire, you know, basic attack on the left click, range basic attack. Right click, links herself to an enemy hero, continuously draining the enemies and her own mana. So she only links to enemies now. She doesn't link to allies. Oh. Interesting. So she only links to enemies. I wonder how that's actually going to play out. Are we going to go to Demorius? Bro, can I just say having... Look at those backward spikes sticking out. That's sexy. I'm digging that. But can I just say having a master Sebrog in the menu? It's probably one of the smartest things that I've seen out of a company. Actually see him fully leveled up. You want to play him. This makes you want to play him. Regular Seb, you're like, yeah. I'm sorry, you know, Demorius, right? But anyway, Void, purple green vibes. I dig it. I could rock that shit by its own. Hammer of Chaos. Oh, so more murdered out, but I still I still get in the purple and green vibes with a yellow hammer. Spicy. I like the fact that the hammer is sticking out. And we got Hammer of Greed. So I like it. I like the whole red yellowish vibe. I really wish the Hammer of Greed was a yellow one, you know, kind of gold, whatever, but I get it. Hammer of Greed. Red. I mean, the skin's still super dope. I I think there's a these two should definitely change their name. This looks like the Hammer of Chaos. That looks like the Hammer of Greed. Change my mind. Those should be changed. Then we have Mask of Lies. Okay, so all the other skins have the Severog mask that they implemented. But the one called Mask of Lies doesn't have a mask. Alright, okay. And this is actually a very, very clever way of having a basic Sevrog skin, like the white robe skin with a little bit of gold. That's nothing too new that we've seen before. It's a new adaptation, right? But having it on the master skin definitely makes it look way different. I like that. Bro, get me out! Yo! Memory fog. That color scheme, it hits too fucking hard. Holy shit. I really like that, uh, his hammer. It's animated. I'm, I'm really liking the vibe that they're throwing the hammer and like throwing all the like extra robes is what it feels like they're throwing on them, even though it's probably very similar. The armor definitely accentuates the robes even more. It's very smart to have it on this. And then the purple one. Oh, Twilight Apostle. Yo, get the fuck out of here, bro. Yo, get the fuck out of here. Yo, there's so much. There's so much depth to this skin. The color, the highlights. This is fucking moving. The lines are breathing. He's got like two bolt, like two goat horns is what it looks like. Actually, it changed my mind. And then he's got... That looks dope as fuck. This makes you want to play a character. I absolutely hate Severog. I've always hated Severog. I've always hated playing him, but this makes me want to play Severog. Demorius, whatever. D fucking G. All right, now we're going to go to Ira? Ira? I'm going to say Ira. Let me know. Ira. Okay. This ECS is a pretty tri it's standard Muriel skin, but I like the two-tone thing that they're going here with, like, the traditional kind of bluish, whitish color, like, off-white sort of vibe with a little bit of copper throughout. I'm digging it. I like the way that it looks. You know what? Fuck. We didn't even go over Severa, uh, Demorius' kit. Dude, I'm so excited with these skins. Oh, my God. Let's go over the kit. Okay. Demorius steals the enemy soul to deal damage. Uses a soul to enhance his own body depending on certain conditions. Okay. So his Q, his Siphon, that's how you build his stacks. Okay, got it. E, Hollow Breath. 
Crushes the enemy's morale, delivering massive damage and inflicting a root. So it's called Hollow Breath, but it's a root. I wonder if it's going to be the traditional downward root based off of a picture that we see here. You guys can't see it right now because I'm in the corner. I apologize. But this picture that we see here indicates that it's probably the root coming from above. So we'll see, right? So you know what? Just for uh, just for this, let me move this. God, there's just no good spot to put a webcam on here, is there? <laughs> oh man, here's what I'll do. I'll just make it smaller in the corner. But uh, yeah, wow. Okay. Um, then from there we have Declaration of Death. Sorry, we have Declaration of Death. Demorius calls the power of evil from the edge of the void to unleash a powerful strike. Okay, very fancy explanation. I'm pretty sure that's just his ultimate to shoot people off. Uh, left click is his basic attack, swinging his hammer. Right click into the dark, dashes toward the battlefield with dead spirits by his side. What does that mean? Didn't do any damage, so maybe it's just a cool ghost animation that they added. We'll see. By Demorius. Okay, now we're going to Ira. Muriel, like we said, on her basic skin, it's like a bluish, whitish, Color, like, pretty traditional, right? Now, oh, you know what I didn't even notice? She has a, ha a halo floating on her chest. That halo is actually pretty visible. I really, really like that. Looks like Toy Story toy. <laughs> you think so? Or any movement abilities are stupid fast? I'll, I'll, I'll get into it and I'll play it, right? Let's see. Bro. It's, it might be the lighting, but this hits different, bro. The checker pattern red. I'm pretty sure that's like the, the, the traditional checker pattern that you can get off of Photoshop. But with that red on there and the and the and how it sparkles, that shit looks fire. Got like an ember ring. And she keeps this little visor thing that she's got going on. Color matching. Okay. That definitely sells the idea of Cyborg, which is something that they're trying to... If I'm not mistaken, she's labeled as a cyborg in game. That looks crazy. Raspberry Choco. That that black that looks fire. Oh look, her elbows light up as well. That looks fire. Sweet plum. Oh, this color scheme hits way too fucking hard. Look at that shit. White and purple. Oh, bro. It's way too hard. And then we have Lady Lemonade. Okay, I'm not mad at it. Definitely wouldn't have put your sweet plum. This skin. This skin's fire. For sure. Alright, let's check. Evelyn. Oh my god, her kit. Sorry, sorry. I'm supposed to go over the skins and the kit. I just get too excited. Alright, so ne uh, Ira. Mural, whatever. Uh, Q, Nemesis. Ira creates an electric current field that punishes her enemies. The field increases the movement speed of allies, decreases the movement speed of enemies for its duration. If Nemesis is activated in an area that overlaps with glowing light, any enemies inside are stunned. Oh, so this is a slow slash movement speed. But if it's combined with glowing light, which is her E... People inside of the bubble get stunned, and this is probably her typical bubble. Ira creates a plasma shield to protect the allies. The shield later explodes, dealing massive damage to enemies within range. If glowing light is activated in the area that overlaps with Nemesis, enemies inside are stunned for a brief period. So I like the fact that it reiterates it. But yeah, so you can combine the movement speed of her Q or the slow of her Q, whatever it may be, right? Uh, you can combine that with the bubble and actually stun an enemy. So slowed inside the bubble leads to a stun. Nope, I dig it. R, I will be with you. 
Iris spreads her wings and flies to the selected target while deploying her shield. She deals damage to her enemies near the target and lifts them into the air. Okay, so it's like teleporting across the map and then knocks them up. Got it. That's pretty traditional for what her kit used to be. Uh, left click is just a range basic attack. And then right click throws a divine crystal at allies to protect them. So this, uh, you right click and apply a smaller shield. Okay, so we got two shield. We have a slow in her, a slow and or movement speed through her Q. And then that's adaptive with the E because it could also be a stun. I dig it. I dig it. Purchase successful. We never bought this guy. Oops. All right, now Evelyn. Arrow. Army, let's check this out. It's clean. White and black. The brown, very woodsy. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I'm super weird. I was always told black never goes with brown. So, the, uh, but it, it, she looks fire. She looks fire. I don't think anybody would ever say anything outside of the fact that that's, that skin looks dope as fuck. Let me see here. Then we got, what's this one called? Breeze. Okay. Yellow, black, blue bow. This one has a blue bow also. Yellow and black, gray hair, I dig it. Okay, this one, she's a blonde with blue outfit. Blue bow. I dig it, and I'm sorry, I'm in blue bow string. These bows are it's that kind of goldish. This one's kind of copperish. Black swan. Oh, so this is where we see the epic sparrow, the epic uh, raven skin. But look at Oh my god, the touch to the shoulder pads, the touches to the feathers, the purple string, the, the helmet visor glowing with the fe- This is very- this, I, this is a skin- an epic skin that was tweaked and looks fucking amazing. I'm really gonna rock that. And then the red marksman. Okay. Pretty simple. I mean, I see that most of her skins are, are pretty simplistic, but, you know, they still look good, elegant. I don't recall if any of these are epic skins, correct me, if they are. Uh, but they look to all just be like variations in color, you know, changing a few color things, just kind of making it their own, which I dig. I'm not against this one, though. But like, again, the heck tech pattern everywhere. That shit, that shit looks fire. And we have Han. He's not Kwong anymore. He's Han. I'm going to play him in only solo queue. <laughs> Yo, so let me see. This one's called, what, what is it? Warrior's Attire. Blue. His blade glows glue. Blue. That's kind of cool. I like kind of gold accents here. I dig it. Uh, I want to say this is a variation of one of his skins, right? Because he's got like the pelt or whatever, or if not, it's it looks dope. I like the chin. Chroma. Purple green. This is Neochrome. Yo, that's Neochrome. Oh my god. With the black. Bye right fucking now. That shit is sexy as fuck. What? <laughs> Yo. Wait till you get to Steel and Rampage? Alright, bet, bet, bet. We'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. Red flag. Okay. Classic, if you like red and gold. Iron Man colors. I, I totally dig it. Looks super clean. A Warrior of Darkness, though. And this is a basic skin? It's, it's a white tier? Bro. Master's Touch? Dude, I'm loving these. I like that he has, like, what almost looks like dragon scale cloth and armor. I just, am I just realizing this? Does he have it on all of them? <laughs> no, no, not necessarily. This armor is way different than this one. I love this, like, dragon scale neochrome. Yeah. <laughs> We're buying that one, too. We're definitely going to use that. There's so many skins. I'm not going to get to use them all. Uh, okay. A heavenly sword. I dig this, bro. This skin? I dig this. 
this is very very well made look he's got like a chest piece parts that's glowing his uh bracelets his arm gauntlets gauntlets his gauntlets kind of glow a bit swords glows a bit a bit very simplistic touch of red but very very like i can't help but think of this and then just think back to like like what is it do you guys remember the uh the, the jackie chan bruce lee movie I forget what it was. Anyway, that feels like something that Bruce Lee would fucking wear in one of his movies. That shit looks dope as fuck. Like, very warrior type, like, rose, but nothing too big. Like, ah, shit's fire. Then we have Kayla. Ooh. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. We can't get ahead of ourselves. We literally just skipped two characters' kits. I'm all over the fucking place. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, so Evelyn, we have her Q. Uh, sends out a rain of arrows, designated damage, and slows enemies. Okay, so her Q is pretty simple. Similar. Um, swift arrow breathes power into her arrows, increasing attack and movement speed. Okay, attack, sp attack speed and movement speed. I'm assuming that's what that means. Yeah, attack speed, movement speed. Okay, so her E is pretty basic, what it used to be also. R launches three arrows that pierce enemies. Side arrows inflict slightly less damage. Okay, so that's about the same with the duration. Her ultimate, just only three arrows, though. I like it. Left click is just basic attack, pretty simple. Right click, Evelyn focuses and fires a powerful arrow that can penetrate walls. Okay, so her kit's pretty much identical. She has a sniper shot that can go through walls. All right, let's check Quang's kit real quick. Or sorry, Han, Han, Han. Uh, Q uh, strikes the sword at designated location, dealing damage to enemies and summoning a temporary lightning field near the sword. Enemies within range are temporary, temporarily unable to escape the lightning field. Uh, when the skill is used more than once, while the sword is on the ground, or upon pressing the left mouse button, is the sword summoned again. Okay, very detailed explanation, basically. This is his tether from above with his Q. His E, lifesteal, some damage dealt to enemies. Ah, oh, so the lifesteal amount is actually an upgrade here. Okay, got it. Um, R, creates a lightning storm that deals massive damage to surrounding enemies. And temporarily slowing them down. Okay. So he does his little swirl around. Damage slow. Left click is simple. He swings his sword. Does basic attack. Melee. Uh, right click shimmering balance. Brilliant. Excuse me. Han harnesses the power of lightning to damage nearby enemies. And create a temporary shield for himself. And this is the lightning from above coming. And you know he does damage in an AOE around him. And applies the shield. Okay. That's pretty standard. Let's change too much there. Now Kayla. Alright, first let's start with this skin. Earth Spider. Can I just say, the intricacy of this cape? I dig it. I don't know why, I get Power Ranger vibes from it, but I dig it. Oh, I just got the cape stuck. Unstick! There we go, okay. The, uh, what are these called? The hashes? Sticking down or whatever? I dig it. I do find it interesting. She's got her daggers, and then the, these uh, massive what do we call these like mandalorian spikes sticking out or something right i think it though black orange spicy blue shadow cape in the face okay oh the uh outline of her face uh, this little line right here changes too you really gotta change <laughs> to work on that animation the inside of the cape is that hex pattern that we've been pointing out i dig it it's got like turquoise with blue Ooh, very reflective. I can see the, the diff a couple different, like, turquoise, blue, different shades in there. Very, very nice. Oh, this one's orange on the inside. Super cool. And Distant Memories. White and purple. Bro, that combo just slaps, bro. <laughs> yeah, you can't tell me the white and purple doesn't look disgusting. I do kind of wish they would, instead of going for, like, the lighter pink here, they would have gone for, like, the hardcore violet that's inside the cape. Like that violet that we see when we flicker around. Really, really wish that that would have been the purple that they use. But, you know. Scarlet Cape. Okay, so this is like an adaptation of the tough Kalari. I see it. I like the robe. I, like, I love all those details in the robe. I like the uh, just like the subtleness. A couple of different changes to the helmet. Glows here, glows at a couple key points in the chest plate also. Her legs glow. I dig it, very nice skin. Dream Spider. 
Okay, I mean, this one's pretty simplistic. A little bit of a hint of yellow throughout, but just mainly black and white with a little bit of yellow. Let's pick that one up. I decided to pick that one instead. All right. Uh, so for her ability, paints row, right? <laughs> oh man. So a window over here going to drop, going drop of purple. Got it. But any game, you're always going to see me by the purple skins, bro. I'm telling you. Skins, content and skins and shit keep a, like a person like me entertained just because I want to show the skins off, you know? Uh, but anyway, so going here, faded light. Uh, Kayla hides herself and becomes hidden while the hidden state lasts. Critical hit is triggered upon attacking enemies from behind. Okay. So basically, that's her invisibility. But if you hit somebody from behind, you get a crit hit. I like it. I like it. it takes positioning into account. What's the duration on that? Hidden duration from 6 all the way to 14. Damn, late game. That shit starts stacking up. Okay. E, Kayla Tele Guide of Twilight. Kayla teleports to the selected target, rooting them down, then dealing magic damage. What? So you can use E to teleport to a target and you root them and deal magic damage. Wow. All right, Kayla, uh, I will be evil. Kayla ascends as an angel carrying a, de a deity. She attacks enemies with mutant lane ferocity, dealing massive damage to enemies within range. And if I'm not mistaken, this is more of the uh, a dash sort of ultimate for her, like they had before. So now her teleport is in her E, and her R is an ultimate of the dash. They swap those around. So probably the dash is super strong, just dashing forward and doing damage. And then the teleport is E. With a pretty low cooldown. I'm assuming the distance is pretty low also. Wow. That's that's an interesting change to her. Uh, Kayla. Uh, left click. Kayla uses her two daggers to do damage. Cool. Red ground spiders. Interesting name. Uh, right click. Brand throws a red ground spider at the enemy. Dealing physical damage and branding the enemy. When branded, enemies are damaged. The brand explodes and deals physical damage. Okay. So she throws her dagger and marks them. If you hit somebody with a mark, it explodes for extra damage. I dig it. Interesting changes. I'm wondering how that teleport and the invisibility and all that's going to work on her. Scott. Boy, steel. Scott. Gins. Oh, my lord. I can already see some. Okay, all right, let's not get ahead of it. All right, so what is this one called? Titan's armor? So this is basically the original skin beefed up. It looks, it looks more cyborg now, even though most of that's like body paint, right? And look at uh, like this little, what is that? Like a, I don't even know what that's called, like a brace on his on his biceps and shit. The pattern down here, I think he looks. Oh, huh? Look at the look at that logo on the crotch. Oh, I'm kidding. Um, oh, it looks like the inside of his back actually glows. That's kind of cool. All right, I dig it. Just an adjustment of the uh, original skin. I, again, I love the fact that it's not just the original skins. They're like, hey, if we're going to use any epic assets, let's revamp them. Let's transform them. I love that. Blue waves? Bro. Check this shit out. It's a purple steel and blue armor. Get me the fuck out. That looks dope. With a little bit of copper, a little bit of yellow. I'm digging the color combo. See, I like. Dude, these skins are so well made. There we go again with like that carbon pattern throughout. I'm not mad at it. It's just a pattern. I dig it. It looks like inside glowing yellow, so maybe his abilities are yellow. Who knows? No man. Okay, this is another one from the uh, what is it like the what, what is this color like? Uh, like a like a reddish tint of a skin, right? Like a wineish wine color skin. Very, I'm getting like a very radioactive vibes off of this. 
with the whole the black, the yellow hints of whites and stuff. Everything's glowing yellowish orange. Yeah, this color scheme is dope. I love the contrast that the skin provides too. That's one of my biggest, biggest feedbacks on most skins that I see contrast. But they never do purple green for some of these characters. Amen. Sevrog is purple green and that man's massive. So uh, shout out to that one. Ancient gypsum statue. So they kept the Mayan one. Okay, I think I see more details in the face from what was there before. He still has his massive arms instead. Oh, correct me if I'm wrong. Didn't still used to didn't the original skin used to have a massive arm and a gauntlet? But now it's like a this emerald bracelet. And my boy's got bling rings. I never noticed that before if it was there, but that shit looks dope as fuck. I like the color, the color choices because it looks like that's similar to the traditional colors, but a lot more contrast. He's not so orange, which I dig. I appreciate, you know. I feel like before his skin was very, very orange on that one. Honeybee. Bro, my dude's bumblebee up in this bitch. Look, he's got like, what is it like a lime green? Sticking through? Yeah, lime green sticking through. The black and the yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Okay. That looks dope. Bro, what is this? Yo, tell me my dude doesn't look like a guy, for, like one of the bosses from Resident Evil, bro. Yo, Maui meets Resident Evil. Changed my mind. Oh, he's like a prisoner. He's got ankle bracelets on, big ass toes, bro. If you don't put shoes on, he's got like these matrix holes that are just sitting there, almost like a like a danger device. Like that shit's gonna sh smack him and just crush his skull. If he steps out of line, chains throughout. He's got like these cog sort of gauntlet bracelets on with like spikes on them, bro. This is next level. I'd never like this is creativity, bro. Bro. Warhammer, I could see it. Oh, look, this chain right here is broken. Like he freed himself, sort of vibe. Bro, he still has some of his lines from his original suit. Bro. That's fucking fire. Get in this five sack. I'm going to get in after I finish going over the skins and the characters and the kits. I'm doing it for the YouTube. That looks fucking dope. Let's look at this kit here. All right. So advances. Scott advances forward and pushes enemies with his giant body. Okay. So like his shield rush sort of vibe, whatever that he had before. E ironclad wall uses shield to set up a barricade on the battlefield that blocks all projectiles. Okay. So he has his normal wall still. I don't see anything in the description about being able to deploy it. Oh no, to set up a barricade. Maybe you only deploy it. Maybe you can't hold it anymore. I don't know. We'll see. Our ultimate Scott started surging with the power of the Titans and smashes the designated target in the battlefield. Okay, so he still has his coming from up in the sky and smashing down and doing damage. I don't see anything about a knockup or a stun listed on here. I wonder if it still does that. Left click, Titans blow, just his basic attack. Right click, uses a shield and pushes and slowed enemies in a straight line. <coughs> uses a shield, pushes and slowed enemies in a straight line. <coughs> what? All right, chat's giving confirmation that there is a knock up on his old. Okay, here, let me get some water real quick. Give me a second. Okay. 
Asi. All right. I mean, overall, indeed. I'm gonna play him. Forgot to buy Evelyn. Slacking, bro. All right, next. It's good. For Murdoch. Imperial suit. Okay, let's see how we can detect, like, see any changes. I don't really see too many changes to him, himself, but I'm digging the, uh, what is that? Like, green, green digital camo sort of vibe on him. I'm digging it. His gun is green. And, like, like there's green and orange. Right, man, that's a dope-ass color scheme. These names are funny. Hey, man. The names for the skin are cool. The names for the characters, are, that's going to take a lot to get used to, quite frankly. Born to Kill. Bro. This is like a, this is a revamp version of the Punisher skin. The original Punisher skin was black and add a little bit of glow. This one adds a little bit more glow. Nothing too crazy. Subtle hints here and there, like on the pouch, etc. Back on the back, the, his shotgun glows a little bit. His gun glows a little, the wiring is big on the glowing, and his helmet glows. So it's more of an adaptation. But I like I like the changes. I like the changes. Being a being a carry main and Murdoch being one of my favorite. Golden suit. Bro, this golden green. That's like snake skin again with a hectic pattern. Almost like snake skin looking or scale looking gold. Yeah, 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 yeah. I dig that. Looking at all these skins, oh my god. Yo, this is fucking sick. Everything that you guys see me pay in game is something that I would pay for in real life. Dan Blast? Bro, this is like one of my favorite skins. The Junkyard Murdoch or whatever you want to call it. But turned up to 3,000. Bro, all the hazard paint everywhere and shit. <laughs> Save as Sandblast. Oh my god, I love that skin. Flaming Bomb. Guys, you don't understand. I'm a, like, I'm a carry main, like, by all means. Look at this shit. I'm Batman. Like, fuck. <laughs> Yo, that shit looks dope as fuck. Same helmet as the uh, Born to Kill. I dig it. Yo, that black and red, that contrast, yo, disgusting. We got space flight. Okay, all right. You know what? I respect the change of the gun. Like I, I you know, like space skins are like whatever for me, but this, this gives me major Halo vibes, right? Like I respect the change in his suit. Uh, like his backpack, the change in the gun, his helmet looks sick as fuck. Little like radio antenna right there too. Yeah, that's dope. But yo, 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 this is a re. This is like like the uh, the born to kill the Punisher skin, but different color. You're totally right. This looks fire. This looks fire. It's like they took this one with all its changes and they just gave it a different color. So this is a reskin of this variation of a Murdoch Punisher skin. That shit looks dope as fuck. Man. All right, let's check out this kit. Q fires a tracking missile that follows the target and deals massive damage. Okay, so he has a missile launcher. F for a Q, okay. E, commence bombardment, launches bullets while standing in a position and deals damage to all the enemies within range. Oh, this is what I heard about. It's like a lobbing mortar that he's got now. He goes stationary to shoot it. 
but it's like a bigger AOE damage instead of just a basic attack. Okay, we'll see. R, Ultra Precise Fire. Fire is a laser in a straight line, ignoring all terrain and dealing damage to the enemy. That's his global ultimate snipe. Cool. Still the same. 420 and max. Wonder if it scales. Uh, left click, enhanced pulse bullet. Simple basic fire. The range auto attack. <laughs> and then right click, launches a shock bullet that knocks back and damages enemy. So that must be like his, his little mini shotgun. It's a knockback and damages. Okay. <coughs> oh my god. Interesting. So my boy's Iron Man now. He shoots rockets. He has a mortar. He snipes. And he has a shotgun. No, he's War Machine. That's what he is. Spicy. Okay. I dig it. Shade. Interesting. Okay, I, I dig it. Adding shoulder pads to it. A little bit of roughness in leather. I, okay, fire. Very Wild Wild West sort of vibes. And the, the whole leather feel. This looks like he has like an axe on his back. That actually looks super cool. I'm digging that coat. I got a buddy that would totally wear that fucking coat. Shout out to Vinny. That... That that coat looks fire. Look at his gun. How he kind of glows a little bit, matches his eye color. I dig it. The handkerchief shamog looking thing. Fire. What characters are unlocked when you start? I don't know. Because they gave us for the for the weekend, they gave us unlimited money. You know, so I'm just I'm buying what I see that I like. Okay. Hardcore emphasis on the leather with blue and gold. What is this called? Shadow Swamp? Nah, that's the Eldorado skin, bro. That's the guy that made sure Eldorado was never found again. And teal eyes? Or like turquoise eyes and turquoise gun with a golden gun? Yeah, my boy's Eldorado. Changed my mind. Faded memories. That's fire. Look at the patterns that they have on the cloth here. Are those the same throughout? No, the patterns are different on the skins. Okay. So I'm digging this pattern. This is more like the original pattern that they have on the original skin. This this is a reskin of the shadow skin. But I dig the black and white. Jack Frost. Oh, that's the one that we've seen in trailers. Yo, my dude has no head. <gasps> Bro, the armor. The eye shoulders. This is epic. My boy has no fucking head. And like he's a mythical being that. Fire. The coat's a little bit more simplistic. Still a couple elegant details, but yeah, it definitely draws all draws all the attention up towards the top. That that looks fucking fire. Wait, let me nah, bro, I would totally totally buy that one for sure. Fallen petals. Okay, here's the, the the Iron Man theme looking one. Seems like just like the uh, the shadow skin, but a little bit of a reskin. I don't really see too much differences between these two. The chest plate's definitely a little bit bigger on that one. Maybe it's a color. No, it might be the color that I'm and like making an accent more. This one glows red. I dig it. Okay, not bad. Oh my god. There's like a face on his chest. Oh, do y'all see this shit? I just realized we're like in a bar or something and there's like overprime arcade machines in the background. That's funny. Look at this. I'm actually digging the extremely subtle, very earth tones color scheme with the brown, the dark green, the like the the you know the aged metal, and then all of these highlights just glowing. It's like, hey, look at this shit, bro. 
in game the head is on fire like Ghost Rider. Get the fuck out. Yo, this is very Ghost Rider like, actually. Yeah. Ghost Rider meets Bane. Dude, I fucking dig it. Oh, the the head's on fire in the uh in the picture too. Bro, I dig it. Wow. The head definitely should be on fire on here too, though. It definitely should be. Kind of helps sell the skin a little bit more. That's definitely something they should do. First of all, yes, buying. All right, Q, Storm of Bullets. Shade fires a Storm of Bullets in the battlefield. The more targets there are, the wider the bullets will scatter. While using Storm of Bullets while reloading, the instant reload effect applies. Oh, okay, so this is like his little missile barrage thing that he used to do. Okay. E, Vital Runes. Shade inflicts a vital wound on the enemy who receives additional damage from Shade's attack and temporarily slows down. When Storm of Bullets is used on a target with vital wounds, the enemy receives additional damage. Oh, this is like his mark. Okay, so if you ha if you mark somebody, you do you do extra damage. But if you use your uh, Q while they're marked, you deal even more damage. Spicy. R abysmal prism shade opens up an abysmal prism that is closed off from the world and moves with the target. Yeah, so that's like teleporting them to the other dimension and turns it into a one on one. Totally. Uh, shade fires four shots that damage the enemies. Oh, that's fucking. Four shot revolver. What am I doing? Okay, basic attacks. But it is a revolver. The four shots and the reloading probably is still there. Uh, right click is mortal shot. Shade turns his last shot into a mortal shot that deals massive additional damage to the enemy. Oh, so you can buff the last shot of your four to do extra damage. That's probably a passive. Okay. That's more than likely a passive. Nice. So the last shot does the extra damage. Like before, so nothing has changed too much about his kit. But yo, so I like the the ones that they didn't do too much to the kit. They have some crazy skins. I like it. Tao, my boy Feng Mao. Let's see what he's got here. Okay, I'm digging, digging that armor piece. Look at that, like the whole skull and the vibe and the color scheme. This whole kind of like glowing green like copperish green look at color i'm looking at but then we got the hint of red here my boy's a little pale but that's okay just needs to get out of the sun i wish i could see this fucking blade a little bit more man but i like it i like it got a samurai armor almost like a like a tough skin of the sorts i dig it Metal rib cages and shit. Big old pipe as usual. I'm not mad at that. You're quite literally in a skin shop. You're shopping for some new clothes. Uh, yeah, bro. Like this is this is where the majority of my money would go to skins. I love rocking dope ass skins. And then I'm the one that loves having all the skins. And then I'm like, yo, what skin are you rocking? Let's fucking match, bro. Where the fuck you at? That's fire. Let's see. Frozen time. Okay, I dig it. Same thing. More, he's got a more bluish tint to him with actual blue robes and stuff. So I, I dig it. Almost like he was frozen. I don't know if I call it frozen time. Oh, I like the fact that there's a chain at the end that moves around. That's kind of cool. Oh, this looks like a purple blade at the end. Am I tripping? That might be a blue blade. Oh, look at it. Look at it right there with the light. Yeah, that's a blue blade. Dope. Bluish purple, maybe. I don't know. Moment of chaos. Bro, green purple. My boy went Hulk colors. That's fire. That's fire. Can I show Severaga again quickly? I got you. Let me just go through all the characters. Because I'm doing it for the YouTube. And then after the fact, I'll, I'll go through and revisit any other ones that you guys might want. Forgotten Guardian. Also, okay, so we had a variation. A similar skin like this back in Paragon. That shoulder piece is fucking massive. I don't remember that being there. And that headpiece looks very similar, but I don't remember it being an actual like helmet like that that goes all the way down. This has more like of a knight style sort of helmet. Yo, but the staff is purple. This is all yellow and purple. Or gold and purple, bro. I would totally buy that. And again, guys, uh, for those of you tuning in, welcome. If you guys see me buy a skin in the game, 
with the you know the fake money that they give us, it's because I totally would buy it in real life, bro. Fiery greed. It's like a devil skin. I really wish he had like a tail sticking out and some horns. Change my mind. If he had horns and a tail sticking out, that shit would look dope as fuck. Kind of like the Mephisto Gideon that we saw back in the day. Okay, but the armor has a red hue to it. Okay. The blade is like red and gold. Okay, so it's like the Iron Man theme skin that a lot of them have. I like that they have color schemes. Definitely digging it. Bro! What in the fucking Loki? Yeah! <laughs> what the fuck? Yo! Oh, he's got like a fucking snake or dragon. Is that a... It's like a snake, right? At the edge? It almost got, has like horns, like a, like a dragon, like a wingless dragon or something on his blade. Bro. It does seem a little busy, quite frankly. Uh, but I love it. The cloth and everything. Like when you're in mid-match, people see this shit. Like, yo, you better get that Loki bitch away from me, bro. Oh, my God. And the white and purple here, like the white trousers. Oh, my. Yeah, okay. That's fire. Fire as fuck. Let's check his kit. Uh, Q. Tao uses divine energy to create a shield. Temporarily absorbs some damage. Okay, so still has a shield. E. Spear Dawn. Swings his spear. Dealing physical damage to hit all enemies and temporarily slowing them down. That might be his wind up. Okay, interesting. R. A strong determination. Gathers his resolve before taking a minute sleep. Menacing leap and striking the ground to deal massive damage to the surrounding enemies, executing anyone whose health is below a threshold. So he still has his old traditional ultimate with an execute. Spicy. Uh, left click, bad basic attack, melee range, medium range, because he actually has quite a bit of range with like a. Uh... Hey, somebody leave me a comment. What uh, what is that? Like, what's that weapon called? The the long stick with the sword at the end. Hit. I don't remember. Um, and then right click, Tau teleports to the selected area and damages surrounding area enemies. Interesting. So his teleport does have a damage at the end. Bye. All right, where are we at? Tarek. Rampage, my boy. Oh, he's got like a, like a cuff with, with chains there. Okay. I'm digging the, uh, I'm actually digging the color schemes. Definitely a little bit more reddish. But the whole green with the reddish, a couple of earth tones here. That shit looks fire. Blue ripple. Yeah, he has like a beach shirt on. I dig it. Very aqua. Okay, okay, I dig it. I dig it. Very, this gives him a very aqua feel with that shirt. And the orange, the blue orange. I dig it. Savage warrior. Okay, not mad. Full red, yellow eyes. Oh my god, I didn't even mean to go that far. Hold on, hold on. Before we get into it, full red, yellow eyes. Uh, what's his armor looking like? His armor's looking like just kind of leathery, like some dark leather sort of vibes. Okay, let's go here. That's the obsidian skin right there. There really isn't much that they can't change to it, though. So I get it. Like, skins like that are so unique. But the black and red definitely helps it stand out. I love that contrast. That dark gold. They call it a staff sword. It might be called something else as well. Okay, true. Interesting. Thank you. Let me see lollipop. Lollipop. My boy's white and purple. With like the same vibe. Yo, he's got a fucking anchor tattoo. This is the sailor. Does he have anchor tattoos? He does too. Okay. So these are these are essentially the same skin but reskin. This one's a purple one. Orange eyes? Interesting. Planetary escape. Yo! 
Let me get my boy a full Planet of the Apes skin, bro. All decked up in the armor, spikes going upwards, gauntlets. Look, my dude's got fucking shin pads. Yo. And my, yo, my dude's got some hairy ass shoulders. I'll tell you what. My, boy, my dude don't got hair nowhere except the shoulders. But yo. You know what's crazy? That's a mask faceplate. So is it that the mask is in the shape of a gorilla? Or is it actual gorilla face? I think the mask is in shape of the gorilla. I think that's the vibe they're going for, but. Bro. This is fucking disgusting in all the best ways. Buy that shit 10 times. Like, that is a huge fucking change to the character model. That is sick. Bro. Wagwan Joker, how you doing, bro? He looks like he went to prison. Hey, Amen. <laughs> He always looks like he came out of prison. Like, all he did was bench in there. That's sick. Tarek gets a pass in my book. Uruk. Oh, wait, wait, no. We got to go back to Kit. All right, so let me see. Brute Fling pulls out a stone from the ground with fierce evil energy. Uh, use the skill once more to throw the stone in the facing direction. Hit enemies will receive a massive damage and become stunned. Okay, so he still has his rock throw. E, Earthquake Smash. Makes the earth tremble, dealing massive damage to the surrounding enemies and slowing them down. So he still has his pouncing, okay. R, the liberated, liberates her soul. Oh, it's a she. Uh, and starts to rage. Raging Tarek becomes larger in size, instantly restores health, and her health recovery speed increases. Okay, health and region, cool, same as before. Uh, can use brute playing instantly when liberated okay so while she's in full beast mode she can throw the rock instantly perfect same as before got it left mouse button is a basic attack melee range right mouse button resonates with the soul of the warrior inside of him and takes a fierce leap oh it's his jump after landing in the designated area she deals massive damage to nearby enemy heroes if Tarek jumps with brew fling active the boulder shatters and stuns nearby enemies upon landing. Also, she's got the leap. And as soon as she leaps with the rock in her hand, she lands and stuns in the area. That's an interesting change. I like it when, and when uh, abilities interact with each other. That's super cool. All right. Uruk, the wise chief. Look at that contrast, bro. Like... A lot of red, a little bit of black to add contrast, a couple white highlights. Oh, yo, the back of his cleaves are like rhinos. I never noticed that. Or is that new? Do we know if that's new or if that was there before? Because somebody let me know. Rex did some cardio before going to overprime. Yeah, my boy did lose some weight. He's got a little bit of a like the the flabbiness going on. You might want to. Want to do a little bit of a uh, diamond push-ups to fill that in, Grux, but yeah, 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 that shit, that shit looks dope as fuck. Amber? Yo, look at the emerald clubs. Emerald clubs are sick. The whole yellow with the green? It's okay. I'm not, I'm, I like, I like it. I really, li I really, really like the color combo. The lighting is sick. The, the actual skin is dope. This Kind of looks almost a little bit kind of Frankenstein-ish skin, right? But the Emerald Clubs, those those massive clubs going around the map swinging shit. Yo, the Emerald Clubs are a nice touch. This is called the Amber Stone X. That's not Amber Stone. That's like Emerald. Amethyst Stone? Amethyst is my birthstone, bruh. Get me in. It's like the Galaxy Warrior Grux, but with tattoos basically see i dig this man i dig the fact that they're grabbing the old skins and just kind of reworking them so like hey we're gonna at least do a little bit something to them before before we sell them or something that's actually very very nice i dig it this is a purple battle grux i could dig that ruby stud oh there goes the ruby skin that we know and love but look 
The patterns are different. A little bit of glow added to it. Very nice, subtle touch. The belt is black. These clubs are fucking massive. I don't remember them being that big, were they? Look at that. I really like those clubs. Oh, it's like the mask is actually strapped down with straps. I see that. A nice little touch. A couple spikes here and there. Bones on the back side of the pack. A couple skulls hanging off. Totally fucking buy that. Totally buy that. Obsidian Stone Axe. Interesting. A gold battle axe. I mean, I think there's a little bit of purple on there. Like, it looks like it's gold and purple, actually. This is very neochrome kind of, like, depending on the reflection. But the rows are definitely purple and gold. And he's got gold, a uh, purple up here. Looks like a, this, is a, this is the Laker skin. I would buy it. That's the Laker skin. Confirmed. All right, let's see. Because Q, Urk strikes the ground and pulls in enemies within range of his location. That's pretty standard. Um, Urk dashes forward with menacing speed. Oh, and he does damage as he goes through, as we can see there. This one does damage when he pulls. Okay. His ultimate unleashes his unquenched rage and increases his physical power. Oh, so his ultimate is just a power buff. Okay. Not too different from what we've seen. Uh, left click is his basic attack. Melee range, pretty decent range, like, like short to mid. Uh, Uruk swings his weapon and deals massive damage to the surrounding enemies. He's, that's his cleave. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. I dig it. Okay, so he's pretty, he's pretty similar to before. Ballora! Mmm. Okay. So it's like a blue with like gold accents. I'm trying to see if I notice anything too, too different about the character model. Because this looks like it's like the, the battle armor pant legs. This looks like battle armor um, body. Almost like it's a variant of the, uh, the, the blonde Bellica, if we remember. Almost like it's a variant of that armor with maybe a little bit of changes to the collar. I don't remember quite well. Let's see, this is called the commander suit. This one's a lightweight suit. Oh, see, there goes a blonde variant. But it used to be all white. And here it's like white and black. So a little bit of change. Okay. Um, I don't think there were as many straps. Like all these straps that got added. I don't remember those. Could be wrong. The comfortable suit. Okay. A little green camo to it. I dig it. I dig it. This is like BDU camo actually. Oh, okay. Oh, she glows green. That's dope. Her, her magazine glows a little bit. Her gun glows a little bit. Her knee pads. And I have a little bit of a glow to them too. I dig it. I'd get that. Brass shoulders. Bro, this is like her armored skin. But look at this color scheme. The lime green with like the snake skin sort of vibe that they got going on here. With the hexagons. This, bro. 100%. That shit looks fire. A little bit of glow. Not as much glow there, but that's because there's a lot more glow throughout the body. The shoes are glowing too. That's dope. Advanced suit. Black and gold suit with like a teal here. Oh. I mean, I would totally get it. But this black and gold suit is rarer. In this suit? No shot. No shot, no shot, no shot. Oh, her kit, her kit, sorry. Oh, we gotta buy her too. All right, her kit. Her Q unleashes a powerful shockwave that collapses the ground and deals massive damage to enemies uh, within range before sending them airborne. Okay, so her knockup is still there. Her E, her drone, uh, sets up a drone called Commander's Eye. Drone continuously consumes mana with the enemies within range. Deals damage every time the enemy uses a skill. So that's a very OG drone that we're getting there. Interesting. 
R is paralyzing shot. Fire is a paralyzing shot that damages the enemies in proportion to their missing mana, renders them completely immobile. So you shoot them, it does extra damage based off of missing mana, which is just like her old kit. But now she also has a stun, like a sleep almost. Renders them completely immobile if you hit them with it. But I don't see I see cooldown. But I don't I don't see mana. I don't see time. They're immobile. So I wonder how exactly that's gonna work. Left click is her her burst machine pistol. Just a range auto attack. Um Valora throws a suppression grenade to deal damage and obtain mana in proportion to the number of damage enemies. That's her typical grenade, but I wonder if she's actually gonna throw a grenade or if it's a typical hey. Like spawn the grenade, it winds up and blows up. But that's her typical AoE grenade that we're used to. Oh, I'm digging it, man. I'm digging it. So overall, we've seen a few changes to the character models, whether it be to their outfits, whether it be to the faces and etc. I I I applaud it. I'm okay with all that. Uh, the names are still a little weird. That's something to get used to, right? Um, some of these skins are absolutely insane. Burnt so went 27 to win four on counter. So broken. I mean, I, you can't expect the game to be balanced at this point, quite frankly. Um, is there...